This video is about hysteroscopy. Hysteros means uterus, scopy means camera. That means trying to find out whatever wrong within the inner lining of the uterus is known as hysteroscopy. You will get to know how the hysteroscopy is done, why it is needed and what happens soon afterwards. So this will be a very valuable information if your doctor asks you to have a hysteroscopy or you are thinking if hysteroscopy will be a right choice for your problem that you are having. Well, let's go straight into what is hysteroscopy. Again, as I have already said, hysteros means uterus, scopy means camera. That means putting a camera inside the uterus to find out what is going on inside the uterus. How can we put a camera inside the uterus? Science have come out with a great option for that. It's not a normal camera. It's a very thin telescope that goes through the natural passage into the uterus almost painlessly. So how the telescope picks up the picture? The telescope is attached with a very clever camera. This camera picks up the picture and shows it onto the TV monitor in front of the surgeon and we see the picture and it is very vivid. If you continue to watch this video towards the end, I will show you some videos of hysteroscopy. Exactly how we see them. How will hysteroscopy help? Hysteroscopy is relatively new concept. When I was trained in India, I didn't know what hysteroscopy was. Well, I read in the books, I mean the international books, but we didn't have any access to hysteroscopes or how to do hysteroscopies. These are all unknown to us. Then when I went for further training abroad, we found out about hysteroscopy and there hysteroscopy is done very commonly. Hysteroscopy is very interesting and can be very crucial to find out whether you need hysterectomy. That means whether you need a uterus removal surgery. Hysterectomy is not hysteroscopy. Hysterectomy means hysteros means uterus, ectomy means removal. So hysteroscopy and hysterectomy are different. But hysteroscopy is done to find out sometimes why and if the hysterectomy will be needed. Interestingly, many international guidelines and protocols of gynecological treatment recommends hysteroscopy or at least checking the inside lining of the uterus before proceeding to hysterectomy beyond 40 years of age. Hysteroscopy is generally done to find out any cause within the uterus, that means within the inner lining of the uterus, which could be causing problems of period or heavy periods, irregular periods or some periods which is happening just in between the periods which is also known as intermenstrual bleeding beyond 40 years of age if the intermenstrual bleeding continues to happen then in that situation inside lining of the uterus checking with the hysteroscopy can be a very useful information additionally hysteroscopy will be a very valuable tool to investigate any cause of postmenopausal bleeding that means after menopause women women do not bleed or not supposed to bleed if the bleeding happens in um, from the uterus after menopause and the ultrasounds can show that the inside lining of the uterus is more than four millimeter thick in that situation doing a hysteroscopy can be life-saving not only this if we need to find out if there is any polyp inside the uterus polyp means like a skin tag type of things which sometimes develop inside lining of the uterus some will say there are two different types of hysteroscopies well not actually but if you really are a person who wants to divide things for writing the notes and stuff then one is diagnostic hysteroscopy that means when you find out what is the cause of your problem or it could be an operative hysteroscopy that means inside the uterus there are polyps developing or some growth or some fibroid or something when this is removed during hysteroscopy in that situation hysteroscopy is also known as operative hysteroscopy as a matter of fact when we practice advanced gynecology when we go for hysteroscopy we usually go for diagnostic and operative hysteroscopy in the same go even though those can be two different types of instruments is the treatment safe hysteroscopy is considered generally safe of course there are small risks of hysteroscopy but mostly if the hysteroscopy is chosen it is always chosen where the benefits will outweigh the risks for hysteroscopy nowadays you do not need to stay even overnight you can come in the morning and go in the evening it is called a daycare hysteroscope this of course 
more friendly to you you can go back home and sleep in your own bed but also it reduces a lot of cost for hysteroscopy in india generally women prefer to have a little bit of anesthesia it can be a general anesthesia or it can be a slightly different type of modern anesthesia which is also known as diva or a little bit of sedation as well you can stay relaxed during the procedure and do not feel the pain in england we used to do a very special type of hysteroscopy which is also known as outpatient hysteroscopy but unfortunately in india because of the stinking cost of these outpatient hysteroscopes and these are also disposable hysteroscopes as companies made because of the cost outpatient hysteroscopes are not very much used in india outpatient hysteroscopes are slightly different from the daycare hysteroscope that means in the outpatient hysteroscope you just go to a clinic have the procedure and walk home in just five minutes time after you have the procedure you do not need to stay or take admission in the hospital but in daycare procedure you need a short stay as i have said is hysteroscope is very common in india hysteroscope is not that common in india purely because of the fact that if there is any slightest indication of uterus removal surgery people usually go for uterus removal surgery and they think that if i do a hysteroscopy it will cause more financial burden to me having a hysteroscopy before hysterectomy can give you a lot of important information which can actually help you to have a right variety of hysterectomy there are a lot of varieties of hysterectomy and hysteroscopy can guide you to the right path well i hope that you had a look into the video as well if you have got any questions please do ask in the comment i'll try my best to answer that see you for the next video sometime soon